Hi everyone, I, I wanted to show you how I mount my birdhouses and I uh, thought this was a good chance to do so because I'm moving one of my existing birdhouses so it'd be more in the shade and generally uh, I think a good location is in the edge of the woods if you have that at your property line but you also you know I, I try to put it in a place where you can see it from the house because it's uh, interesting to watch the birds go in and out um, but you also don't want to get it too close to your house because in some cases birds like bluebirds will attack your windows when they see their reflection and uh, I knew that from experience and that's not a pleasant thing because they are relentless but uh, there's a number of ways you can mount your birdhouse I mean there's things like shepherd hooks or you can just hang it from a tree limb and it's pretty you know easy um, but today I'm going to show you a way that I have been doing it which works out pretty well not necessarily the least expensive way but it does work well and I've liked the, the use of it. Uh, the main thing I, I use is a 4x4 pressure treated post and that, that works because it's, it's really sturdy and since it's pressure treated it doesn't rot and but the thing is you could dig a hole and just put it in the ground you might even put some cement in there to to make it more stable or to make maybe the post last a little longer because uh, it wouldn't be in direct contact with the soil um, but i found this uh galvanized screw works really well and it's and it's easy to install basically uh, i've used this one already it's got some red clay on it uh, i don't think that's rust because it is galvanized but you just screw this down with a metal rod that comes with it and then you just screw the 4x4 into this and it, it's really sturdy when you get it down in the ground this far and yeah it lasts really well and then uh, if you want to move it it's really easy to move because you can just unscrew this and put it somewhere else so to do this you use this metal rod like I say it comes with this screw and you put it through this hole and you just turn it clockwise like you would any other screw and at first you have to press a little hard to get it started but once it does get going it kind of pulls itself down just like any other screw Once you get this screw pretty pretty close to, to the bottom, you can sometimes even go farther than this, but it uh, depends on how hard the ground is. Uh, in my case, it's already pretty solid. It's not necessary to go farther. Sometimes you can go all the way down to the bottom of this. But what I like to do is take a, a level just to make sure it's, uh, pretty close so it's set better and uh, if it's not you can kind of pull on it so it gets gets to the place where you want it this is the 4x4 pressure treated post I'm going to use and I like I said I've already used this uh, I'm just moving it so I already have this galvanized baffle on it and uh, mainly that's for keeping snakes out of the house and you want to put this on about four feet or more higher off the ground so this post comes with these lag screws that just goes through the bracket into the wood
now that I have the birdhouse mounted on this pole, I'm gonna put the wireless camera inside and uh, connect it up to a, a solar panel. So here's the camera, it's the blink camera. It has a little panel on the back where you can connect this micro USB cable to it. And I'm gonna run this cable uh, over to the solar panel. I ran this uh, solar panel wire uh, out to the edge of the woods so they could get in the sunlight more and I attached it to this post and I'm just going to adjust the, the little adjustment to aim it up where the sun is most of the time but one thing I did to get this wire longer was I have an extension wire and uh, you saw me attach that to the camera uh, not only does that wire make uh, make it longer so I can longer so I can get out to the edge of the woods and into the sunlight but it also makes it uh, so that I can disconnect the power from the camera and reset the camera because sometimes the camera will get in a bad state and stop working and by disconnecting these wires this extension wire and plugging it back in that will sometimes uh, fix the camera just wanted to show you the finished installation uh, you can see the baffle and you can see the birdhouse is is pretty high probably like eight or nine feet up and it's just in about three or four feet inside the edge of the woods so it gets good shade uh, see the solar panel wire is running across here and over to the solar panel which is probably 20 feet away uh, but I'm hoping that this area is going to get more sunlight and where the birdhouse is.